In this video, I'm going to look at how you can draw a ray diagram for a converging or convex lens. And for this, you'll need some squared paper or graph paper, a ruler and a pencil. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in what is called the principal axis, which is just a horizontal line on my piece of paper. And I'm going to do that on top of some of the squares like that. So that's my principal axis. And then I'm going to draw my lens in the middle of this, which will give me some space on either side to continue my ray diagram. And for a convex or converging lens, I draw that as a vertical line with arrowheads like this. And that's supposed to show the shape of the lens would be convex like that. But then we're going to make the approximation that all the refraction of the light happens on this straight line, whereas in reality it happens on both sides of the lens. So I've drawn in my lens, and maybe I'll label that as the lens. Now I need to mark in the uh, object, and it says an object two centimetres high is placed eight centimetres away. So I'm going to mark in my object, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimetres away. And for my object, I'm going to make it two centimetres high. And so I know which way up it is. I'm going to put a little arrow on the top of it. And I'm going to label that in pen as the object. The next thing to do is to mark on the focal length of the lens, which it says is two centimetres. So I'm going to count out one, two centimetres, put a little cross to show that with an F by it to represent the focal length. Now, quite often in exam questions, some of these things will be drawn in for you already. So to work out where the image is going to form, I'm going to draw two special rays. And I'm going to draw the rays starting from the top of the object. So the first special ray which I'm going to draw is going to go from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis until it hits the lens. So that's my first special ray. And this special ray will now when it goes through the converging lens, will refract so that it passes through the focus of the lens here. So I now need to line up my ruler with where the ray hit the lens and the focus here and draw in a uh, solid line like that. And I'm putting arrows on these to show that is what the real light ray does. So that's my first special ray drawn in. Now I'm going to draw in my second special ray, which is the one that goes from the top of the object through the centre of the lens. And this one, interestingly, when it goes right through the centre of the lens, doesn't get refracted. So this is really easy to do. I just start from the top of the object, go through the centre of the lens and continue in a straight line. And that is my second special ray drawn, and I can put an arrowhead on that to show that the real light ray is doing that. And now I can find where my image is formed, which is where the real rays cross here. And I can draw a vertical line down from the principal axis to where they cross. And because the two rays started from the arrowhead of the object, they will finish at the arrowhead of the image, and I can label that up as the image. Now, I can see a few things from this diagram. One, I can see that my image is upside down, or we call that inverted. Two, I can see that it is smaller in height than the object, so that is diminished. And thirdly, I can see that the rays that cross to form it are real rays, which tells me it is a real image. So I've deduced from this that it's an inverted, diminished, real image. I can also calculate the magnification. And to do that, I need to do the image height divided by the object height. 
and so I can get my ruler out and measure my image height is about uh, seven millimeters. So I'd have seven millimeters and my object height was 20 millimeters. And as long as those units, top and bottom, are the same, they will cancel out, which will leave me my <coughs> magnification as 0 0.35 with no units. So that's the basic ray diagram for a converging lens. I hope you found this video useful.